Hey, what's up people? Orfish here. Welcome to my fifth episode. And I've given some thought about the placement of this base. And the spot is great, but the base itself and the view from inside is too generic and too pale to some of, uh, compared to some of my designs. So, I've scouted... Hey, thank you. I've scouted the um, environment and this reef actually can give you some great views if you give it a chance. So, I found a perfect spot with a particular coral formation from which the view is awesome, but that would require deconstructing and reconstructing this base in another location, so I'm gonna do just that, hopefully it won't take long, but it will take about an hour or so, maybe, I'll try to be efficient. First I'm gonna place a few, craft, sorry, a few beacons to better navigate the area. And I'm gonna deconstruct these benches and these corridors. And that's where most of my glass went, went into. Come on. Okay. And for the start, I won't need much glass there. So the material from these corridors will be quite sufficient. Now I need lots of titanium and at least two lithium, some quartz. Sorry if this bothers someone, but you know how much a base design is important to me. If I don't do this now, I'm gonna regret it for the rest of the, this playthrough. Do for start. But since I'm moving all the way to to there, I might as well pick up more stuff so that I don't have to get, go back and forth too much. So. I think this is all that can fit in this sea trough for now, maybe it's been too much. We'll see. Okay. general direction, it's on the other side of this massive reef, close to the alien distress call origin. And if I look on the map, it's 
there somewhere. So I looked around and there is not a oh, poor peeper. There is nothing as remotely fun as this coral formation in the area. So I was thinking about creating a base which looks in that uh, with the observatory which looks forward in that general direction. Uh, and I always wanted to build a base that is hanging from some rock formation with not much land. I mean the sea floor around to build upon, so let's see how that will go. Mm. This will be multi-level, of course. First let's see. I'll start from here. It's easier to descend. Then to correct for errors la later. Something like this. Would be nice, I think, but I'm not sure of. There will be one eye compartment here in between, so I think I should orient this room. Let's try with this. One eye compartment in between. Nah, this room is hanging too much. I'll correct it right away. I mean, it's not like it's gonna fall off, but for the aesthetic Warning. sake. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Perhaps like this. Oxygen. really need that ultra capacity tank okay so this room is hanging from that side roughly as much as this one is hanging from this side I've achieved some kind of symmetry and I forgot the enamel glass but the view from this observatory would be quite cool maybe I have enough no I don't have diamonds here so okay I'll be build an entrance here I mean let's use up this space Perhaps the view would be even better. From down here, yeah. Build an observatory here. And one hatch there. Oh yeah, we can create hatches from diagonal directions. one reinforcement here right away because there's no point making any windows there of course warning 30 seconds of oxygen remaining Ok, 
Okay, looks nice. I'm gonna build another multi-purpose room here. It just makes sense. Maybe one hatch over there. For now and maybe later. Let's see what's the view like from here. Maybe one observatory even here somewhere. So not sure where to put this hatch. I'll put it I'll put it right here for now. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. The ladder? Nah, I can't get through. The ladder in this room must go here. Perhaps even here, that would make sense. Yeah. And of course, we'll place one here. And I'll relocate this hatch for now in this straight direction. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And that looks quite cute to me. That will be a basic layout. I'll extend it later. But that doesn't mean I can't oxygen do some glass work right away before we start moving. There is no more glass than what I already have here. So the window simply must go here and here. And of course I think I'm gonna cover this entire side in windows. But I'm running out of reinforcements. I mean the hull integrity. can continue expanding base in this direction as well but we'll see how that goes okay this looks way more interesting and less boring than the other base so let's see if I can use up all of these resources before I start moving things. Let's use up this here, here, and of course we'll have I have a bench. Okay, there's nothing interesting on that side. Unless you like looking at the bottom of icebergs. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Maybe I should... Yeah, I think I should. I have been able to sense the location of an important artifact. Hello? I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. Got it. Signal location uploaded to PDA. I look around for some quartz and construct a few of those lockers so that I can unload those exotic resources. The gold, the lead and everything else. However, is it possible that there is no quartz here? 
can believe it. Yeah. Just need a few. There is no quartz in this game. I mean, I've seen the, the deposits, but... If you remember the kelp forests or the Grand Reef in Subnautica, you could virtually endlessly mine, I mean gather, not mine, the quartz fragments and pieces there. So I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe there is some biome in this game which has more quartz. Okay, so this will be a primary leisure room, I think. That means I wanna place my fabrication near the other entrance, here. And Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's see if I really want a reinforcement at this place. Maybe a window would look nice. Oxygen. time now nah, the view is not all that interesting but then again we have a leak somewhere and the leak doesn't have any more delay in this game. It starts leaking the moment you you lose the hull integrity. So, okay. Let's see the view in this direction. Integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. But I mean, I have to place reinforcements somewhere. Let it be here, after all. One here and one perhaps over there. Okay, so I'll place a window here. And what was I up to? Yeah. So, if the fabricator is going to be located here, and it obviously will, in order not to run around these lockers, I'm going to place them differently this time. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Like this. But I need time to do it, and I need oxygen. during that time and see even at some point I could extend this corridor I mean I could make it basic high corridor and extend the vertical column all the way up to the surface and create even a surface level If I were to do that at the current location of my base, it would require a lot more work, I think. Now you know how delicate this is, so bear with me, please. Maybe 
maybe from this side I'll have more, more luck. Okay, this doesn't look that bad. But then again, I completely forgot what I said before I went for more oxygen, so it should be in this direction. And it's even easier to place from this direction, I think. Nah. Okay, this can be any better. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Much like this. I think this this isn't perfect. We'll fix that. As you know, it has to be perfect. For the people with OCD. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen so production there is, offline. Yeah. Maybe like that. Nope. That's as close to perfect as it can get. Now let's unload this. This I will leave in my sea truck to drink now. And let's transfer the gold and the other exotic stuff that I have found. I mean rare stuff, it's hardly exotic. this water or anything else <laughs> can you imagine I look for the quartz everywhere and it was here okay so we'll name this the base because and the other one is going to go. Forever. And let's start moving. Hope this won't take long. Oh, okay, no, yeah, I need to. Now we're going from the base to the base. Not sure if I have done myself a favor by moving a wraith from the center of the map, but definitely that other base will be more fun too. To live in. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. 
me. What? How is this not empty? Try to sort things out this time. I don't have at the moment. more space I do have virtually none I could build another module what's the what's the cargo module Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. But I'm gonna miss you so much. I mean, I don't have lithium here, so... Now, let's just travel back and forth. It's only 300 meters. This will take, I think, 10 or 15 more minutes. Nothing too troublesome. And then I promise we'll expand the story even further. God did I could nah this is just mind blowing how oh, I forget some things. I completely forgot that I could stock my own inventory with additional stuff, but it's too late now. off but it's easier to level these things now
shape it's even better leveled on this side i mean this this is perfection at its best the blue in this game I mean the color of the water there wasn't so much blue color like this one in base game except in the safe shallows and even there Emergency power only. Oxygen production places. offline. Okay, let's see. No, 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 no. Exotic stuff goes here. Titanium. Let's relocate this and we'll place titanium here. Seek fluid intake. As well as glass, as well as quartz. Why is she breathing like that? Oh, I figured out if you stay in one spot. Even inside the water, you can freeze. Here, there's a kelp forest nearby. So, lubricant, silicon rubber, fiber mesh, all that stuff is within our grasp. I think this is a last round trip before I completely deconstruct this base, so we'll need one more to bring materials. That we obtain from deconstructing this base to the other spot. Oh, let's not forget about this. This time. Seek fluid intake immediately. Welcome to 
I see I can even start deconstructing the base right now. Nothing left here. Problem. Like in the original game, when you start deconstructing, you no longer have line of sight to that part, and you need to step out of the base to complete the deconstructing. I'm gonna die of thirst, apparently. However, calorie intake recommended. Let's not lose health. Vital signs stabilizing. deconstruct the foundations even though there's really no reason for that to happen you need to deconstruct everything that you build upon foundations to remove Warning. them to Okay, time to unload this. I like the sound of uh, the sea truck compared to the sea moth, for example. That high pitched uh, propeller wasn't pleasant. Propeller sound wasn't that pleasant. start separating the glass and the quartz 
wow. I won't have enough space, so let's spend a bit of glass. This looks nice, okay. I'm not gonna ruin that, however. Looks nice in all directions. Yeah, maybe, maybe I don't need this one. Let's stay with this choice. Okay. Now, yeah, the reactor. Reactor room could go here, I think. And let's fill it up. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. With something. Poor hopfish. All I ever use as a reactor fuel is the them. Emergency. Predators beneath our base. Come here. No, not you. Wow. They bite quite hard. Vital signs stabilizing. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Okay, now this is the base I can power be restored. proud of. I All think. primary systems online. let him here I can for example block this side and even I can build reinforcements here There is really no reason to have this great view blocked inside of this chamber, so I think I can build my fabricator here finally.
I mean, yeah, I have to spend to more glass. Capital. Let's see how this is going. Okay, why not? Why not? But primarily, this here is gonna be our le leisure room, I think. I'll need as much glass here as possible. Yeah, I don't want to miss any of this. Okay, where's that enamel glass? Is it in the sea truck or I think it isn't. There it has to be it has to be over here. Okay, I'm pausing. Really I am pausing. I even know I I didn't even craft the enamel glass. I used to make a few to make a sea truck, but not oh yeah, I need to craft those. Okay, here we'll deploy We'll deploy this that in a mode less so it's diamond lead and titanium no and glass lead diamonds okay You know what goes in the middle? Of course you do. Okay, now we can, I don't know, use a desk here. probably cafeteria or something but I don't even have enough blueprints to create that 
now I needed some yeah not sure where to put those let's let's go with the wall shelves let's go with maybe here Yeah, why not? Okay, why is there no music? one here how do I get st stuck everywhere okay where's the rest of the stuff Now I have the need to make things symmetrical. So let's make them symmetrical. they are now except there is no reinforcement here but I think I'll place a water machine once I find it over there okay let's unload some more stuff items let's see what do I need for whoops what do I need for the um, for the battery charger wiring kit Good. 
eggs will go there for now, but at some point probably we'll obtain the alien containment. We hang this soon. Water. I might as well drink everything now. Post poster. This poster fits in the engineering section. Maybe like that for now. Focus. Yeah, I don't have enough walls. I need mean, enough free walls here. Everything is less. left, sorry. Okay, two batteries should remain here. No, these two batteries should remain here. Items go here. Computer chip. No, 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 no. computer chip goes here. But yeah, I need to create the modification station. So computer chip, titanium, diamond, lead. Computer chip, titanium, diamond, and lead. Maybe, I don't know, maybe here. Maybe I'll create an, an observatory. No, I'll, if I'll create the observatory, it will be, I think, in this general direction. Oh well, let's place it here. I won't create anything here. And the Recyclotron. Ion Cube. Titanium Ingot. We'll place it... I don't know. Let's do it here. Okay. Nice. Now these decorative items could go. The frame picture was, of course, at our desk. The poster could go over there, although it's not pretty. And the focus one, I don't know. I really don't know. Let's place it here for now. So I'll keep these two batteries with me. I might as well replace this one and 
put these two. into the charger and let's eat this paper one more and final round trip didn't take more than an hour. And for the rest of this playthrough we're gonna enjoy a much better view. I think. Secure the sea mon uh, the sea monkey or the penguin. Foundations over there, but oh well. But now I'm s wow. I have too much titanium already. I'm not gonna take it. I have to. Spot goodbye, you adorable creature. We'll be going to a more dark area now. But I'll hatch some sea monkeys and release them outside. reflection on on the base surface that's a nice touch it wasn't present in the original game okay let's now build that foundation One goes here. Without a question. Better 
Fairy stuff. And the gel sacks. Nice. Maybe another one here, not sure. Yeah, it fits kind of nicely. There's no reason not to place it, but I'm gonna gonna leave it like that. Not sure in which direction I'm gonna expand my base. If it's towards the back, we're in for a problem. But then again, I will at least need one eye compartment, so that's not an issue. Yeah, I think it's safe. To create it here. Where is the rest of the lab? Inside the sea truck, apparently. Yeah. So this this looks way better, way more interesting. Since we have enough of hull integrity, oh look at this! If you construct the glass over the wall at which there was a poster, the poster remains. So that's a good thing to know. Maybe that's exactly what I need here. Since there's glass everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna do just that. Okay, let's see if we can spend Welcome aboard, Captain. A bit more titanium here. I mean, obviously, I like to place some plants. Here, behind the seat where they don't obstruct the view. And they make the observatory all that much cozy. And I've also forgot, I also forgot about Lighting, but it's day outside. I don't know. Nah, we'll wait for the night. Okay, now let's move this poster. I can't even pick it up. So we need to deconstruct, pick it up, get it back. I don't know. Maybe here. For now. By the way, this picture is just randomly picked up from Google, I think. It's it's funny. Okay, where should I put these? I don't have my choice. Maybe I could move the glass over there and retain titanium inside here. But no. Okay, let's make one ingot. See, every time the fabricator works, there's a chance that power surge will occur. It's a nice touch. Okay. 
Okay, this beacon will also go. Here, let's check for any more leftovers. There are none, apparently. Two beacons, two sources of food, one battery is with me. There will be more, of course. Two batteries with me. The flare. All right, now I need to restock by my food source and maybe some reactor fuel. Back here. Peepers are quite fast and quite agile. Yeah, that's all I needed. Drop the chase already. is persistent more than the Reaper Leviathan apparently. Almost dead. How is it that I still had power? Let's see now. About that lighting. Of course, I'm gonna create. I don't even have a spotlight, right? No, just floodlight. Okay, floodlight it is. Need to turn away the sea truck. I don't have the sea truck power. No, oh, it's not great.
this way. This looks even better with lights over it, so let's use that to our advantage. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. More than I need. Okay, why not? Oxygen. This can stay for now. Okay, this is all very comfy and nice. And finally, we can play the game. I'm gonna end this episode now. And in the next episode, we'll, I think... Yeah, I will investigate that architect artifact or pilot last known position. That's been here for quite a long time. I think I'll go there first and see what's up. So, sorry for this base relocation. I hope you enjoy this new base as much as I do. Uh, if you liked it, click that button, click that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!